Hi, this is Jeff Thornton, and I just wanted to take a second to uh, show you a quick screen tutorial on using QuickTime on the Mac for making screencasts. So, uh, a screencast is a valuable tool if you'd like to take a picture or a video of your screen and be able to share that with students or other staff. So, I'm going to go um, either to my applications or up here to my spotlight search, and I'm going to type in Quick. Time. You'll notice QuickTime players will probably pop up quickly. I'm going to open that, but it looks like nothing has happened. So I'm going to come over here now to File. And I'm going to see that one of the options is New Screen Recording. So I'm going to select New Screen Recording. And you'll notice that a little box like this pops up. This is the screen recorder interface. It's very simple. Just click this drop down here real quickly before you start. Make sure that your microphone is selected if you're going to be speaking in your screencast. Also, this will probably default to high and you want to leave that there. Now, this is a nice feature. You can have the screencast record your mouse clicks as you're going through. So I'm going to keep that selected so it'll make a little bubble each time that I click my mouse throughout the screencast. Once I've got those settings ready and I'm ready to go with my screencast, I'm going to click the record button. And it's going to say click to record full screen or drag to record part of the screen. So I could decide I just want to get this part of the screen. Let's say that's all I want. And then I would just hit start recording. I actually would like to get the whole screen for the screencast. So I'm going to drag this out all the way. You can do this at the beginning and just select all of it if you want, but I decided to show you this feature as well. So I'm going to select Start Recording. Now QuickTime is recording. One thing to note is this little recording interface box up here is going to show during your screencast, so you may want to minimize it and then clean this up in editing later. So let's say I wanted to show everyone how to go to Safari. So I'm using Safari, and here I am doing this and doing that. And then once I'm finished, I'll come down to QuickTime, and I'm going to press the Stop button. Now it's going to show me the now video that I just made. Is recording. Okay, so you can see the video that I just made, complete with mouse clicks. So you can see the little circle here for a mouse click, showing when the mouse is is pressed. Okay, and then you see the end of the recording. All right, now I can save this in my documents. I'm actually going to put this on my desktop. I'm going to call this test screencast. And I'm going to go ahead and have this make it in a high quality 1080p video format. So I'll hit save. Then it's going to export it. At this point, you can really just share your screencast if you want very simply. However, if you want to take it to the next step, I would recommend taking it to iMovie and then using it in iMovie to make an even better screencast. So let's let's talk about that now. Let me show you how you can do that. Once I've finished making my screencast in QuickTime, I can now open up iMovie and I can come here to File and then let's import this movie and we saved it on our desktop. So I'm going to pick um, full original size and let's navigate to the desktop. Here's our test screencast and I'm going to create an event and just call it screencast. Keep everything else as it is. It's going to take a couple seconds to import this video and bring it into the iMovie program. Then once the import is finished, you'll see the raw unedited video right here that we just took of our screencast. So now what you could do is some nice things if you wanted to just get the point where it started without the recorder maybe. Um, and maybe you want to do some zooming in and things, so maybe we'll just take this first part, drag it up here. We we'll also have all of our transitions and things that we can have available. 
just like you're making a real movie project, except we're using our screencast this time. Um, and then let's say maybe the next section we want this, but we want this to kind of zoom in this time on the browser screen. So we would say cropping and rotation. We can actually move the area of our video to fit more of what we want to see. So maybe at this point we want to just zoom in just on these people here and click done. Now the video has been adjusted for that. So I'm using Safari and here I am doing this. So you see the video is now zoomed in and we can finish editing our video. We can add titles, anything else that we might want to. So that's just a very quick way that you can use tools that are already on board your Mac to make a screencast using QuickTime and then go through the editing process with iMovie. Hope that's helpful and I hope you can find some ways to use screencasts. Thanks.